What are the primary ethical considerations for reviewers? Um, so, uh, in terms of ethics for the reviewer, I think that one of the most important things is, first of all, to make sure that there is no conflict of interest with any of the authors on the paper. So make sure that in some way they haven't published with those people before, that it, indeed in no way would the reviewer benefit or, um, or uh, you know, um, uh, receive any kind of gain from that paper being published on the other you know, on the other hand, does the, does the reviewer have any reason to wish that the paper were never published? So that's, that's sort of an important thing in terms of conflict of interest. The other thing that the reviewer always has to keep in mind is they're being asked to, to review um, as part of the peer review process, and so they must always be fair and impartial. If the reviewer has a particular extremely vehement view, which is um, either opposed or supported by the paper, um, they should at least try to, um, to make that clear, to um, extend the, the correct um, citations and, and publications to back up what some of their views are, and, and try to always remain fair and impartial and not uh, inject their own belief system into their review. So I think that, that, that trying to remain fair and impartial at all times is mo one of the most important things that a um, reviewer can do. And then um, lastly, the confidentiality of the paper um, or the manuscript at that point should really uh, be maintained by the reviewer. That is, the reviewer should take care not to distribute that paper to anyone or um, uh, talk about it in any way. They've been asked confidentially to review that material. Other ethical responsibility I see for reviewers is turning around reviews in a timely manner. If you don't have the time to do it, it's perfectly okay right away to say, hey, I don't have the time to do it, but here are three or four other people who might be really qualified to look at this piece of work. It's better to do that than to, even in all good intentions, sit on the paper for weeks or, or even months and, and not get the feedback back to the authors. If you get something and you don't feel like you can review it objectively, you need to say that outright. Say, okay, I'm such a close competitor that I don't feel that I can give this an objective review and I'd like it to go somewhere else. Uh, the worst thing you can do is review it and just be blinded by the fact that you're so close to it. But if you feel like you're a, a competitor but you can review it objectively, there's no problem with that. You really have to be your own judge of that. What one can't do as a competitor is sit on a paper for a long time because you want to get something out first. And I'm sure there can be an enormous temptation to do that, but that's that's something you just can't do. And, and the other real ethical obligation is not to take advantage of any of those results that you saw in the paper that you're reviewing until such time as it's appeared in print. How would you recommend that faculty members mentor their students to help them learn about the review process? I feel that if a person is going to teach their students how to um, review a paper, possibly the best way to do that would be to first train them up on a paper that the, um, the person's already reviewed. So say uh, I had reviewed a paper in the past but it hasn't yet been published, um, uh, then you, know, you, you could ask for, some, uh, ask for them to do sort of a mock review. Um, but I think that it would be actually best to use the papers of your friends where you could get permission from them to use their unpublished work in those kinds of mock review situations rather than for a paper that you yourself are reviewing. And it is actually funny, I found in general that new reviewers, like brand new reviewers who have never reviewed before, in general, they're a little bit more critical. They, they, they want to see everything perfect because it's their first time reviewing and they want to make sure that they do a good job as reviewers.